Yo guys, my name is Troy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to dive into the summer book tag. As always, I will leave the original tag video down below so you guys can watch that if you want. But basically this tag is centered around the summer as we are kind of like in the middle of the summer right now. And it's basically just has a lot of questions relating to the summer like sunburn, sunset, ice cream, books that remind you of summer and stuff. So it's going to be a super fun tag. If you are excited, make sure to leave a like on this video. Can we get this to like 50, 60 likes? I don't know. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below for content every Wednesday and Saturday. Also make sure to hit the notification bell. I don't always say this, but yeah, make sure the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Also, make sure to leave your answers to some of the questions, one question, all the questions. I'll have the questions in the description so that you guys can play along in the comments down below. All right, let's jump right into it. Alrighty, guys, the first question is what book cover makes you think of summer? The first cover that kind of pops into my mind, I don't have it, but I'll put it up here, is Dog Days by Jeff Kenney. It's one of the Wimpy Kid books, but, um, you know, I was a big fan of, like, the Wimpy Kid books when I was younger. This cover just reminds me a lot of summer because the book is based around summer and so you know the ice cream the sun and then also another cover that comes to mind is call it courage um it's like a you know really short classic but like it kind of has a, an ocean like the beach and i don't know it just looks really summery to me because like that's what i envision the summer as like going to the beach and going to the ocean and all that fun stuff the next question is what book has brightened your day honestly i feel like i'm gonna have to go with aragon by christopher polini because i just can't help but smile when reading this book it's so good i've always wanted to read this book for the second time i'm finally doing that right now i'm finally reading the series again it just this series makes me so happy with the adventures and the characters and it's just one of the series that really got me into reading and also like the booktube community so okay I also want to talk about Hobbit by um J.R.R. Tolkien I'm still reading this right now but like it just makes me so so happy to read it um you know just I've said this a bunch of times but like I've been able to you know see the movie act in a play and stuff and so like I just been really attached to the story and it just makes me really happy to read this book and it's definitely has like brightened my day in the past when I read it because it's my story babies all right the next question is find a book with a yellow cover I've actually got a couple so i guess we can just go through them first we've got harry potter and the cursed child i've never read this i'm not interested in reading it i probably don't think i'll ever read it now but yeah it does have a yellow cover and next up we've got a clash of kings by george rr R. martin oh it's actually book two in the a game of thrones series and i need to read a game of thrones i want to read that before the end of the year so you guys will definitely be hearing more on that and then next up we've got kingdom of ash by sarah j mass this is my largest book in my book collection which is kind of a coincidence <laughs> anyways yeah, it's just so thick look at that it's like the thick of my face it's thicker than my arm anyways i don't know what i'm saying Lono glass series i really love this and i just love the cover and then last up we've got brazinger by christopher polini this is not as yellow it's kind of like black and yellow but it is kind of a yellow book okay and then i brought some other um yellow books for my bookshelf these are all like really tiny and i got these you know a while ago but first up we've got the sideways stories from wayward school by lewis saker or something and this is a really good book actually it's like just has a bunch of goofy stories i might need to read this again soon um we've got roll of thunder here i cry i'm just going off by spines by the way this book dealt a lot with racial topics and racism and stuff so i really enjoyed this book and you know learning more um about like kind of what life was back like, 100 years ago or whatever and then we've got the little prince those are just three other books that i had that were yellow the next question is what is your favorite summer beach read and for me honestly like just going on like my experience for this summer i brought the unwanted series a lot to the beach and actually that's kind of like the only books i really brought to the beach honestly her books are just so beach worthy because they're really quick you know like they their pages read really fast the story just moves really quickly too there's never really any slow parts because lisa mcmahon does cut out all the fat all the extra details i know a lot of people like to bring i guess contemporary to the beach but for me i'm a big fantasy person so that's what i bring to the beach the unwanted island of legends this book was a really really good beach read the fourth book in the wanted series i, I brought this i read almost all of this at the beach it was amazing it had a lot of adventure in it so yeah i guess another thing to mention about the unwanted series that makes it more of a good beach read is it has a lot to do with islands there's a chain of islands that the um, unwanted explore and stuff so i guess that's what kind of makes it you know an even better beach read and then also a good beach read i didn't bring this to the beach but but like you should totally do is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon because it has that summer vibe honestly it's not pl taking place in the summer it, it actually takes place in the winter but it has the summer vibe because it's like the last day of summer almost like Daniel and Natasha have one more day together before Natasha gets deported it's like a heartwarming romance and I know a lot of people like to bring romances to the beach so I think that's just another good beach recommendation if you guys you know want one 
The next question is, what action book had you running for the Ice Cream Ma'am? And I don't really know what this question really means. I don't know what an action book is, but I did pick out a book for this. This is a recent book that I read, and it is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, because, oh my gosh, this book had so much action in it. I know there are some slow parts to it, but, like, it seems like every 20 pages, or, like, even every after every chapter, like, there's a big plot point and action, and I just remember, like, even when, you know, Coriolanus was watching the Hunger Games go down for, like, the first half of the book, there was still a lot of action. He had to sneak into the arena once. Even, like, behind the scenes, he had to do so much, and there was some crazy conspiracies, and then when he was a peacekeeper, in part three like there's a lot of action in that there's a lot of action in the ending so there's just so much action it had me running for the hills for the ice cream man so yeah i definitely recommend you guys read this if you are interested in the hunger game and you want to learn more make connections with the prequel to the main series and also just the series in general the hunger game series is very filled with actions and then the next question is sunburn what book has left you with a bad and or painful ending and now i know books that have kind of like painful endings i'll actually do one with like a really sad ending for me was they both die at the end by adam silvera and spoiler alert from the title they do both die at the end um that's the whole point of the book is because the two boys know that they're gonna die at the end and so just seeing the boys die at the end was painful it made me cry it was like i was tearing up and stuff so like that's always good because the book never really does that to me so yeah that was painful i guess you could say legacy by shannon messenger i have like three copies of the book down there but i'm not gonna undo all my books for that but yeah i guess legacy by shannon messenger also had a painful ending because the cliffhanger was huge those are kind of like all the books that are off the top of my head. Okay, the next question is awesome. It is Sunset. What book gave you the happiest feelings when it ended? And I want to say, honestly, like just kind of looking back to like some of my recent reads, Slay by Brittany Morris, because I remember being so freaking happy at the end. I had like little tears from of joy. There's like a big reunion at the end that happened. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And just like the ending was so satisfying. So I just really loved it in general. I'm like, A Court of Wings and Ruin. This had a really good ending as well. I mean, it was sad, then it was happy, and it was sad. But overall, I was like really happy with the ending of this book. The ending of Clockwork Princess, the third book in the Infernal Devices trilogy, that was also freaking really happy. I loved that. And I think my last one for this pick is gonna be Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer. So yeah, those are some books that just had some really happy endings that were like, yay! But just overall, I think this book probably would win it for me. Like, in recent reads. Alrighty, next question is what book cover reminds you of a sunset? And I don't know why the sunset relates to summer because sunsets are like every single day of the year, but the cover that I picked out for this is Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I really like this cover and I think what reminds me of the cover is kind of like the back, like the kind of the clouds, the red and the orange. Kind of reminds me of a sunset. Um, I don't know if you guys can like see this, but just like the differences in the clouds and the sky. I also would like to point out Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. It also has that similar vibe vibe with the clouds oh god my drink just spilled not a vibe anyways yeah this book has a lot of like oranges and clouds and stuff so yeah those are kind of my picks allegiant and the deathly hollows all right the last question is what is one book or series you hope to read this summer and so it's kind of like you know, midsummer, so I guess I'll just kind of go over my original plans. But my original plans were to read Aragon by Christopher Polini and Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Those were like my two really big series slash plans to read this summer. Oh, also The Unwanted. I read this already, um, and I'm reading the Aragon right now, and I'm also reading Throne of Glass for the remainder of the summer. So those are kind of like my three big series. I don't really remember anything else. Yeah, I don't really got more picks, but like these are just kind of like my main picks. I don't want to keep talking about TBRs and stuff because that was literally my last video. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> let's just go into the outro. So guys, that wrapped up all the questions in the tag. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of like summary question vibe thingy. And it's kind of ironic how I'm doing this because it's literally like the last day of summer vacation for me because I'm going back to school like tomorrow. So that's cool. I don't know. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you want to see more from me, I do booktube tags quite often now. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below for more content every Wednesday and Saturday. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell right next to that. That's a big thing. Make sure to set your notifications to all. Also, make sure to go into your settings and allow YouTube notifications so that you actually get the notifications from YouTube. And also, make sure to make a comment down below with your answers to these questions, like what were some of your beach reads? What are some covers that you really like that remind you of the summer and stuff? I'll leave the last video up there for you guys if you are interested. It was my August TBR if you want to see the books that I'm planning to read in August. I'm already not doing so great in August, but I'll try to 
you know, speed up my reading efforts. I'm just kind of not in the mood right now. But I think that wraps up all that I had to say, guys. Love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Happy reading.